this is Info Puppet, and I'm going to show you how to remove pimples and blemishes the easiest way. You won't believe how easy this is. You're going to love it. It's all going to happen soon right here in Photoshop Elements. And so we can see there's pimples on the forehead and on the cheek and on the chin. And we're going to get rid of these and it's very, very simple. So let's go to the toolbar and we're going to select the Spot Healing Brush Tool. It looks like a band-aid. Now, we do not want the Healing Brush Tool. Make sure you select the Spot Healing Brush Tool. Now I'm going to go ahead and go right over here, the big pimple right here on the chin. And I'm just going to left click and release and boom. Look at that. Magic. And boom. And now I'm going to do fast forward. We're just going to get rid of these. And that's what you want. You want your brush size just a little bit bigger than the pimples. And you can adjust that again at the top of the uh, window, just like all the other tools in Photoshop Elements. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's take care of the oily skin, though. So let's go back to the toolbar, help out the oily skin, and select the Selection Brush Tool. My favorite tool. And I'm just left-clicking and holding and dragging. And the idea here is to select as much of the skin as possible without selecting the eyebrows and the eyes and the nose and the mouth. We're going to put a blur on the skin to make it look a little bit nicer. And we don't want to do that to the lips and the nose and the eyes because it's just not going to look right. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and go up to the select and then feather. And I've got four pixels, that's fine. You're not going to see any difference when I click OK. But it's going to give us a smooth transition from the blur to the regular skin. Back to filter and blur and then Gaussian blur and boom, there's the blur. I'll select OK. Now I want it to look a little bit more real so I always go back to filter and noise and add noise. And uh, uniform and monochromatic selected, that's fine. With 1.5 I'm going to click OK and I'm done. So now all I gotta do is hit Control and D on a PC or Command D for a Mac and that gets rid of the selection. Okay, now one other thing I gotta go. Go back up to Filter and Distort and Liquify because I gotta put a little smile on her face. And there you go. A little bit of happiness but it's a lovely young lady. Alright, I'm clicking OK. Now let's go ahead and look at some before and after pictures. I love this part. So let's go ahead and look at the before. And now let's look at an after picture of just what the spot healing brush tool did, okay? And boom, there it is. Looks pretty good. That's only the spot healing brush tool. Let's go back to another before. And again, let's just see the after of just the spot healing brush tool. And boom. Now let's check out what the Gaussian blur did. And one, two, and boom, there's the Gaussian blur. So there you go, that's how you do it. Very easy way to remove pimples and blemishes in Photoshop elements. Thanks for watching from Info Puppet.